Hey guys, what's cracking? What is crack a lacking? Somebody give me a five for five and we'll go right into it. Uh, are we five for five? Hey, Uncle Raw. Uh. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. Hey, Aaliyah, good to see you. Hey, guys, I got a different headset on. It's a wired headset. Hey, Full Hope. Um, let me know if my volume is too low, too high, or if it's okay. I'd rather be a little on the high side, just so you guys know. Because you guys can turn it down on your end. I can't really turn mine up anymore because I've got it up pretty far. Um, are we? Are we low? Um, let's see if I can. I, I might be able to help that a little bit. Uh, goodness. Let's go to, uh, give me one second. Uh, low volume. Okay. Um. What about, hey, full of hope, thank you for that. Wow, right off the bat, thank you, 10 memberships. Anybody who got those, please tell uh, full of hope, thank you. And thank you again, full of hope, and anybody else. Um, okay, um, if you guys could, please, uh, if you could, go ahead and um, turn yours up as far as you can. I don't really want to put the gain up anymore on it because it's going to start causing crackling and all those kinds of things. Um, I might be able to turn it up just, just a little bit. I don't want to waste a whole lot of time on this, though. Um, let's uh, see if I can't get to it real quick. Like, uh, It's probably not going to let me go in there and change any of that right now. Oh, it might. I don't know. Let's try. Okay, we can try it. So we are on the mic. I'm at about 150%. I'm going to take it up some, okay? Um, we'll see if it makes it any better. I'll take it up to 200. Let me know if I'm getting any louder. I'm going to take that up to 200 and see what it does. Is that any, is that any better? Genius by birth. Thank you. Another five. You guys are rocking it. Um, and as I'm waiting to see if you guys are okay with the volume now, did that help at all? Um, I'll be surprised if it didn't help, but, um, okay, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and roll with it, guys. Alright, uh, I'm not gonna get real nitpicky with it right now. Um, okay, so, yeah, thank you guys for that, though. Thank you for all the gifted memberships and continue to come back and share in the stream and stuff. It really is, it's very cool. Uh, it is louder. Okay, cool. Um, if this, if you guys start hearing weird sounds, let me know, and I can turn that back down a little bit. But uh, I'm if you guys want me to, I can probably do a members only stream after this one, and we can talk a little bit more one on one, and uh, I'll show you guys some of the emojis and stuff if you guys want to. Um, oh crap, Marsh will probably be on. Uh, maybe after Marsh show tonight. Okay, guys. Let's just, let's, uh, that's what I'll do. I'm going to go live with a uh, a members-only stream after Marsh. And if you guys can't make it, that's all good. Um, and, if you know, we'll, we'll try to get together tomorrow, too, if we need to. But, uh, okay. All right, guys. Um, I, I, I'm going to start doing some members-only members, members -only streams. Um, it's been about three weeks since we started those up, so I, do, I don't want to put that off anymore. Um, you guys are really supporting me in that end, and I'm going to earn it, okay? Um, so just know that, but apparently I'm a loser, right? <laughs> ain't that what, ain't that what he, what the comment said back there, guys? That was crazy. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. I'll, yeah, I'll probably come back tomorrow and do it. It might be a better time. Um, but I am, if it, if it doesn't happen after Marsh show tonight, it will happen tomorrow. I promise you. Um, we're going to get into a groove with that too. I've got a plan for that. Just so you know. All right, guys, so let's just go ahead and dive into the space weather, and listen, <laughs> we've had a lot of stuff going on, right? We've had the the eclipse and, and everything, and we talked about the Devil Comet being in the sky at the same time. Um, I had taken some photographs of that during the eclipse, right? And I thought 
that I caught the comet also when it, when we went into total uh, uh into totality. I don't think it was though. Okay, um, I went and looked at a star chart, and the comet is really close to where that would would have been. Um, but at the same time, hey, hey, Ron, thank you, brother. I really appreciate that. Man, you guys are just killing it. Wow. I, I like seeing all that green in there. I mean, that's a, that's a, yeah. Thank you. Wow. Um, I don't think it was the comet, though, guys. Okay? I think it was a, pla a star or a planet. I can't remember which one that said it. It might have even have been Venus. I can't remember. Uh, but I don't think it was the comet, because the comet would have been just barely able to see, and I think he probably would have had to have a, a, at least binoculars, okay, to be able to see it. And I was seeing it with my naked eye, um, but what threw me off was it was in the same area that it that, that comet should have been there, right? Um, so I thought, well, maybe that is it, but it's not. Um, and why I say that, I did do some research, and nobody else out there seen it either. So it kind of confirmed that that was not the comet. Now the comet is in that general area, okay? And, I, and I'll show you where it's at here in just a few minutes, but it's moving. And guys, I, I've i seen some weird stuff in my time here on YouTube with all of this, right? So why I'm saying that is, when I see something out of the ordinary, or just kind of a strange, kind of hits me across the face, you know, um, I I used to just jump out and show people real quick, right? And every time I did that, I got it wrong. <laughs> okay? So I hesitate say, even using those words. You know, I'll say something like, I've never seen it before, but it doesn't mean that it hasn't happened before. Because that is, that is the truth, and it's going to be the same thing here when I show you this. I've just never personally seen it, and I haven't seen anybody else show it, uh, what I'm getting ready to show. I'll just go ahead and show it to you here real quick um, while, while I explain. I need to get better at that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this first. Uh, you know, as a matter of fact, I'll take you here real quick. Guys, this is on Soho. It's a, the satellite always looking at the sun. It's about a million miles closer to the sun than what we are. Okay? But it's from our perspective. I'm just going to leave it at that for tonight. I'm not going to go into big detail. Um, all you got to do is type in SOHO in any search engine, and you'll find out where that satellite's at. Okay, and also, guys, I almost put it in my thumbnail. Um, the sun was not the only thing that got eclipsed by the moon yesterday. Okay? Uh, one of our satellites did. And I'll show it to you guys here in a minute. It's pretty cool, actually. Um, so I'll, I'll show that to you here in just a second. But as we're looking at, you know, there's there's Earth, there's Soho, always looking at the sun. And it orbits, right? It orbits, orbits the sun with us. 365 days, it keeps it, you know, it's not moving as far because it is closer to the sun. But it's the same time frame, okay? Same amount of degrees that it moves in an orbit. But, okay, so let's go back here. Now, this is, this is Monday, right here, okay? This is uh, the 8th. Now... I'm not sure if you guys seen that. It just happened. That's how quick it was. Okay, I'm going to show you two different things here that happened in this one frame. Um, and there it went again. So, and I know it's hard to see. This, this CME that blew off of here is moving at, I'm just going to call it what I'm going to call incredible speed. Okay, this thing blew off of there like nobody's business. And it was not very big, okay, as far as wide. It did not erupt like a typical CME does. I really couldn't even see it on SDO, the other satellites. This is uh, this is where I've seen it here. And sometimes we'll get some weird imaging on the coronagraph here on the black and white version. So what I do is I'll just go over here and look at the red. Because typically this is a difference image. And I'm not going to tell you what that actually means right now. It takes too much uh, time. You know, that, if I singled that out and just talked about that for a second in a, in a future video, which I will, okay? Uh, but this is a difference image. This is not, okay? So it showed up here, too. And it's very, very light on the red, but it's there, 
okay? So let me, um, I'm just going to step this forward. Remember, this is a black occulter disc, and it's a physical disc, right? It blocks the main light of the sun. Basically, it's doing what the moon did yesterday. It's, it's forcing an eclipse in front of the camera at all times. <laughs> hey, Trinity, hey, Hilly, good to see you guys in there. Everybody else, too, hello. Uh, I think i seen Rip in there, too. Daryl, Texas work, too. Good to see everybody. So, you get this eclipse here, right? And it's just the occulter disc, a permanent eclipse. You can actually kind of think of it that way. Because the corona does kind of still sneak out a little bit. But what's different is an eclipse would just cover up the sun. This is the surface of the sun. The occulter disc is out further. It's even blocking quite a bit of the corona. Because there's a lot of light there too. So I say that just because it gives us, you have to consider that when we start seeing things on this imaging, it's uh, it left the surface way before we see it. So I don't want to say way before, but it, it left the surface before we can see it. So as I step this forward, and so let me just, there it went, okay? Now, it's only there for a couple frames. Guys, I have never seen this. I, I You know, if, if somebody knows what this is, or if somebody knows somebody that does know what that is, I, I would love to have a conversation, because I want to know what that is. Okay? I mean, and I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and zoom in. This is not a, cam a camera artifact either, guys. This thing moved, okay? And it moved out in a way. It didn't bust and fan out like a, a typical filament would. A big CME or even a small one, by the time it gets out to here, has usually spread out quite a distance, okay? I mean, it looks like a light bulb, right? So, I'm going to back off just a little there, okay? So I'm just going to click next and see what it's doing there. Okay. Now, when you see this next image, I'm going to explain it before I even put it up there. When you see the black stay in the same spot as that one, that is a ghost image. Okay. That's one of the things we deal with with the black and white imaging. Okay. So when I click this, that image, if you look at it right here, and I'll back it back up, it's an exact replica of that image. Okay? So it is a ghost image. You can't really, you know, say much more about that. People will want to argue with you about that. And, I, and you guys know I don't argue. Um, but what I do know is that when I'm pretty sure about something, I will assert it. And, you know, I'm going to leave it at that. And if people don't think that that's what it is, that's fine. I mean, I'm not going to come at you or anything like that. It's just... I mean, I'm showing it to you right here, so I, I don't know how, but anyway, if I was to believe that that's something other than a ghosting image, I would have to see a lot of data and proof to change my mind on that, okay? And I, 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 I say that in that manner because these, these kinds of things do cause massive drama and fights between channels and this person's stupid. That one over there didn't even graduate preschool. I mean, this guy over here is walking around with the dirt to dirt and all, you know, all these kinds of things going on, right? People do that stuff to each other, and it's ridiculous. And I'm not going to have any part of it. So I don't even address people when they're doing that kind of thing. But what I want you guys to understand is the speed at which this thing is moving. So if we look at the timestamp, 1224. Right? 1236, we see see the beginning of it. 1248, 12 more minutes, it moved from here to here. 1325. Okay, I'm going to back that up. That's about a half hour. It's off the screen. So we're looking at about an hour, and we can't even see it again. <laughs> there you go, Ripper. I like that. You can be Papa Smurf, man. Hey, I get the room with uh, Smurfette, though. Y'all can go do what you need to do. But, you know, <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
<laughs> uh, who, who can we pick to be Gargamel? No, I don't want to see no comments in the comment section about that either. Don't be saying some other channel's name on that. I, that's not why I said that. I was just making a joke. <laughs> but anyway, so you see how fast that moved? Now, if anybody has ever seen a CME like that, I want to know. Because I have never in my life seen that. Now, I also want to point this out, too. I do find it interesting, okay, when we do see the, the ghost image, you are seeing some straight lines there. Okay? Now, I'm not saying, I'm not implying anything there, because there are things inside the camera that kind of look like that. And sometimes when we see those things, it's just a reflection of inside the camera. And I can't point to one way or the other here. But it is rounded out here in the front. It's all rounded except for where that's at. But something else I found kind of odd Remember, you're going to see another ghost image right here, right? So if I hit next, there's your ghost image, right? This one's completely gone already, which would be what would happen with the ghost image, okay? Um, <laughs> there you go, Ilya. Love it. So there's your ghost image, but how come we get another one the next frame that actually changed? Okay, you see how... The ghosting didn't stay the same. You guys seeing that? And then, if I go to the next frame, it's still there. And it changed again. So I do not have any clue why it, we're seeing that. Okay? I don't. This is something very odd. This is not coming at Earth anyway. Okay? Now... I don't want to make more of a bigger deal about that because it could be something very simple that I'm just not aware of. And that's why I'm coming to you guys with it because I, I couldn't find anything on that, what would cause something like that. And if anybody out there has seen a CME like that, please show me. I want to see it. I want to know. Um, But, yeah. I remember the cat, yeah, but I don't remember the name. Yeah, Gargamel and uh, that cat was mean, too. Anyway. Okay, you know, when I was a kid, my parents wouldn't hardly let me watch that show because they said it was evil. <laughs> I don't know where that came from, but okay. I, mean, I know they use like a little witchcraft stuff and not really witchcraft. They actually, you, you know, they're doing what they're doing. Gargamel is and I, maybe that's where it came from. I don't know. But, you know, we do get things subliminally, but I just thought that was kind of crazy for my parents to do that, but. Is what it is. They love me. That's the only reason why they would say anything to me at all. But don't you guys agree with that? Isn't that kind of weird and odd? I just have no idea what that is. I've, I've not seen anybody else address this either. Okay? Because I, I, one of the things I do when I can't figure something out, I'll go see if some of the other channels, maybe they've reported on it and they know what it is. Right? Um, but again, if anybody knows, just let me know. There you go. Azrael. That's right, Alan. Heck yeah. There you go. How we get off on Smurfs? <laughs> yeah, there you go, Laurel. Laurel Ann. Hey, Hilly. So, yeah. Again, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move on. I'm not going to stay on this because I, I have nothing else to say on it because I don't know what it is. If it is a true CME... It's one of the most dense, decentralized, balled-up ball of plasma that I've ever seen fire off the sun at that speed. So, and again, guys, there's an outside chance it could be a reflection. I just don't know. It doesn't look like a reflection to me, but I, yeah. And look over here, too, guys. It's showing up on the red, okay? Like I said, we see weird, more weird things happen over here on the black and white, but it's here on the red, too. See? It's faint, but it's there. Okay? So, something was there. I don't know what it is. Uh, it looks like a CME, but... So, I went to SDO and was trying to figure out where it was at, but I couldn't really see a whole lot. Now, same day. Okay? 
I'm going to hit start. And then check this out. What's what's going on down here? <laughs> I haven't seen anybody report on this either. And it's not a big deal. It's just that, that's a sun diver. There's a sun diver right there. That's not the devil comet. Okay? First off, it's coming from the wrong direction because the devil comet's actually in a, a very highly vertical or elliptical, if you want to use those kinds of words. But it's more oriented north-south than it is east-west in relation to the sun. Its orbit around our sun is more, um, when it comes around here, it's coming in at a high angle like this. Okay? And it's moving from top to bottom. This thing here is moving that way. Now, the fact that we see a sun diver here is, I've shown hundreds of these things to you guys, right? So that in itself is not any kind of big deal. This is just space weather that we're talking about, okay? Um, let me rewind that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put it in reverse and start it back that way. So we'll just let this thing play through a couple times, and, and I'll stop it here, and we'll look. Okay, right there. Now, if I was going to bet you whether or not that made it to the sun or not, I'm going to tell you no. <laughs> the sun ate that up before it even got there. Um, you could tell just from the imaging, um, but... Sorry, guys, I had to take a drink. I don't like to drink while I got my mic next to... I guess I could have muted it. But we can also see it over here on the red. Okay, so that's kind of how you prove these things out, whether or not it's a camera anomaly or if it's something like that. And so I'm going to pause it right there. Guys, you see this? This is another way I can show you that this is a ghosting image. That is not two comets. Pay attention to where this is at. I'm going to back it up one frame. Back it up two frames, three frames. That lines up exactly where that ghosting image is see so just know that that's a ghosting that's one that's one sun diving comet and it is interesting that it's in the it's happening at the same time that the devil comet's hanging around but the devil comet's here for multiple days right it's a bigger comet it's, it's cryovolcanic it has its own little outburst i'm gonna i'm getting ready to show you guys well let's just go do it Let's just go over here and I'll show it to you. Um, let's go to, uh, I guess we can start with HI-1. Remember, this is Stereo A, okay? This is the satellite that used to be about 90 degrees away, uh, off to our, uh, I guess we're using uh, space directions. It's backwards. East-West is backwards. North-South is the same. So it would be um, to our east when you're talking those terms um to our left i'm just gonna say that okay i'll just use that but you can see this thing right here and you know <laughs> i was glad to see somebody else report on this because i told you guys yesterday nobody else had shown this to you yet and they had nobody had not this imaging most people have forgotten about this imaging. Um, I think Mr. MBB3 uh, did a video on it today. Matter of fact, I know he did because I watched a little bit of it. He did a great job on it. Um, please go over and check out his video on that. Um, he really did. He it, it it's really well done. He did, he he of course he always does a good job when presenting his stuff. So I just yeah. Um, no, Skywalker, that's not, we don't do that here, sorry. Uh, <clears throat> we do not do that, sorry. If I, if I said yes to just one person, then everybody could do that, and I, I it's too much. I can't be doing that. I, I do apologize. I mean, I'm not sure what the GoFundMe's for, but, uh, yeah, we don't do that, sorry. But yeah, sorry, please don't. Um, 
and, and I don't, I'm not sure what, you know, um, once you email me and we'll talk and if, uh, if you're got, if you're going through something or whatever, once you email me, I'll take a look at your email and I'll get back with you. And if it's something that me and you can talk about, maybe I'll show, maybe I'll point people over to your GoFundMe. Okay. Uh, but I, I would like to talk to you before I do any of that. I typically won't because I don't like to get involved in that stuff. Um, and I understand you probably don't have a big platform. I get it. But at the same time, it kind of it messes with everything here, too. So, um, sorry. I hate telling people no. Oh, you just kidding? Okay. <laughs> you had me like, oh, hey, Shell Spells. Thank you for coming in here. Listen, I got to go to her page here in a few minutes. Um, Shell Spells, I may show it tomorrow. Um, is Marf live yet? No? Okay. So, I want to keep going here, because I don't want to go too much into Marsh time, because I know a lot of you guys watch us both. Um, I do try to work around what they're doing, but sometimes they don't go right on time, and neither do I. So, if there's ever a time that we're both on at the same time, guys, Go watch them and come back and watch me on replay, please. Um, that would be the best thing to do. I, it, it, for me, in my opinion, um, they do talk about a lot of things over there that are more, way more immediately affecting everybody than what I can, what I talk about, right? I got days to show you what's going on. When they're talking about current news, you don't have days. Sometimes you need to know some of that stuff, like, right away. So please go watch them first. And, and then come back if he goes live. I, you know, I won't, don't feel bad if you have to leave or any of that. Um, you know, not to mention the fact that, well, I'm a mod. Ilea is a mod. <laughs> Rip's a mod. So is, uh, 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 Trinity, Jammer. Jammer's a mod over there. So, yeah. Hey, Drops, good to see you. Guys, let me say this. Anybody that has footage of that eclipse. If you want me to take a look at it, I will. And most likely, if I get a bunch of it in, I'll probably just make a video showing everybody's different footage and give you guys credit and everything. I'll, I'll, I'll edit it up and make it look nice. Um, if you guys want me to do that, I can. It's not that big of a deal to me. So if you guys got any footage you want me to share it with people, I can. Because I do realize that most people don't have a platform like I have. Um, and I've just been so blessed to have it. And and I like to help others get to that level too. That want to get that, you know, get grown past just a struggle bus. You know what I mean? Um, it's always going to be a struggle. But sometimes we're blessed in ways that we didn't necessarily think we would be. And that's the case here on my channel. So... Anyway, guys, so here is the devil comment, um, and I, I was wondering because I, I, I thought I, um, I've heard people call it the dragon comment, the devil comment. I, I just wonder what its true nickname is. Um, I think it's devil though. I can't remember. It might be dragon. I don't know. Here, hold on a minute. Well, Mister MV3 is calling it dragon, so it's probably dragon. I'm probably wrong. <laughs> I don't know. So, but we, we will, uh, it's, that's semantics, who cares, really, about that part of it, but, um, I just want to make sure we're talking about the same thing here. So, let me speed that up some, okay? And, I am going to, uh, actually, I'm just going to back off that for a minute. We will, I, I'm going to change that to the 8th. Um... And see if we get any, see if we got any more imaging there. I want to see how far the date takes us. Sometimes, you know, on these images over here, guys, there's a buffer time, sometimes up to three days. Just so you know, okay? Um, let me uh, stop it about right there. Oop, a little too, didn't get to it quite enough, did I? Okay, so let me back this up. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Now, that's where it's at right now, but do you see how that the the definition is really crappy? That's what that that's why you get a buffer time. So if we go back a little bit more, that's what I wanted to show you. 
this either the sun hit this with the CME or it had another outburst this thing is spiraling too guys it's spinning it's rotating okay um, and it's got cracks on it and gases release and it has these outbursts now remember as it gets closer to the Sun or to the ecliptic because I'm not sure it's really going to get much closer to the Sun because it is diving south okay but when it gets close to the ecliptic we could see some fireworks from this thing because everything's connected to the Sun right all of us everything is so when this thing crosses the ecliptic where a lot of the planets hang out all that magnetics comes together and works together okay um, this is also one of the reasons we see things with uh, planetary alignments along with you know gravity and all the other things that we talk about but these comets can induce CMEs oftentimes they induce CMEs okay and I get I get asked the question all the time well how's a how's a small little little comet like that do that well first off this probably really isn't all that small it's not huge but it's it's not small either right it's the magnetics remember what I say guys the satellites are connected to the Sun magnetically if you were out in space butt naked floating away Waving bye-bye to Matthew McConaughey or whoever else is sitting in a cockpit of a spacecraft somewhere. Your left butt cheek, I promise you, will be connected to the sun magnetically. Okay? Everything is connected to the sun. And I'm sorry for my little bit of a redneck uh, explanation there. But, you know, I like to kind of keep it light and have a good time while we're doing all this. Hey, Trish, good to see you. Yep, yep, I agree, Skywalker. But again, so when these when the comets actually cause or instigate a CME from the sun, the majority of the time, in my opinion, it's magnetics. There's 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 some magnetic lines that are getting crossed, and when they do, again, it's like that reconnection point I talk about all the time that will induce CMEs. So and I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so let's take it back to the up here. Ooh, I'm going backwards again. Man. Let me, I'm going to back that up one more time because I want to show you the tail of this thing, okay? This is why I wanted to show this to you. The sun or whatever is uh, affecting this comet, and I think it is, it's either solar wind or some sort of... Uh, CME that got fired that direction. Look at its tail, guys. This thing has two tails. Number one, it's co it, it's coma. That's what they call it. Um, what causes this is the actual solar wind, anyway. Okay, that's why when it's coming in up here, the the direction of uh, the tail will point away 180 degrees away from where the solar winds hitting it so if the solar winds hitting it and it's traveling this direction right so you know you got to think in that kind of a line now when it starts to make its turn that tail is going to start doing that right so and it actually when this goes around to the other side of the sun the center of this thing is going to pretty much stay in the same spot the tails was actually moving because the solar wind in essence is blowing on the other side of it so that's how that, that's how those things happen but yeah so now you know is it a big deal this thing has got its tail all messed up right now no it's not a big deal it's just showing you how powerful our sun is, okay? Um, it is the single most influential thing you're ever going to talk about in space weather that can really affect things at a very big level. Down to your local weather. Down to the thunderstorm I had two hours ago. I'm serious, guys. 
you know I talk about the rapid expansion here, let's go here for a second so I can show well I tell you what I'll do let's just back this off and I, I want to show you some more imaging here why I explain what's going on so I don't want people to get bored on me here this is essentially the same imaging it's just a different format okay um, so again there's your comment I'm not sure how and switching between images will actually sometimes limit how many days you see also okay but do you see how that tail was moving look you guys see that each time you see that little ripple on this tail it's being in, impacted by either increased solar wind or a CME now you can clearly see the Sun is firing CMEs this direction we know it's been firing stuff over there I've shown it to you <laughs> now is the comet causing it I don't know I can't say for certain but um, also guys look I'm, I'm gonna show you something here too remember I said that I didn't think it was uh, the dragon comet or the devil comet during the eclipse you see this right here this is Venus um, I, I and I'm not sure what planet that is but if I was gonna you know say that what object was out there it would probably be this is what showed up when they got dark see how close they are to each other so I can see how people would get that confused very easily get that confused and we've all been talking about it are we gonna see this thing during the eclipse so everybody was hyper focused over on that side um, and for most people they're, they're just gonna roll with it and say hey yeah th check it out there's the devil comment well it it wasn't it was this okay um, and it's because I went and I you know I don't like to get things wrong so and I still get them wrong even when I research but I just wanted to point that out okay now again I'm gonna go ahead and start this because I, I think it's important to be able to um, watch this tail just kind of wiggle as this as the solar weather hits it. it it it's a really good example of what's happening okay now how do we apply this to what we do every day here well replace that comet with planet earth and stick it in one spot so what you're seeing back here basically is like a magnetosphere tail it's not and it's not in any way shape or form made up of the same stuff I'm just saying the shape that it's taking behind it is very similar to what a magnetosphere tail looks like okay and to give you reference on that let's go ahead and uh, stop that and uh, so to give you reference on that, this is what I'm talking about. This is why I, guys, I show this almost every every live stream, right? Sun's off to the left. What's this look like? Does that or does that not look kind of like what's going on there, right? And it's not the same thing. I'm just saying visually, that's kind of what you're seeing. So I really hope that that kind of puts things a little bit. In, and a little bit more perspective for people that don't really have a great idea yet about what's going on so also you can see the the energy from the Sun just getting the Sun's right over here guys okay so you can see how close this is getting to the ecliptic that's the equator of the Sun stretched out infinitely right so if you took the equator and just had it go on forever that's the ecliptic and thing and, and when we're talking about space objects and things like that you oftentimes hear people say hey that's above the ecliptic and that one over there is below it what they're talking about is what I just said the ecliptic is the equator of the Sun stretched out infinitely and then they seen an object either above it below it or on it now we orbit the Sun close to the ecliptic all year but we do move up and down a little bit okay so sometimes we'll be above it sometimes we'll be below it sometimes we're right on it so what I'm saying is 
is a uh, <coughs> when we talk about planetary alignments, it's important to know the magnetic connections there, okay? Because, like, how can I explain this? I've been struggling with how to explain this to you guys because I don't want to confuse anybody. Let's do this. Let's try this. Now, I know this is a CME tracker, okay? I know what this is. I'm just going to use it because of the inner solar system here, all right? So, when we're talking about planetary alignments, you see how Mercury right here lined up with uh, planet Earth? Okay, now, this is top down. We're looking down at the sun, our inner solar system. So, what, what do we miss when we look, look from one direction? What are we missing there? We don't get to see any of these objects. We can't tell from that that particular cut whether it's above, below, or on the ecliptic. How do we know? You can look right here. This is the side cut. We're looking at our inner solar system from the side. So we would be able to see what was above or below the ecliptic. Right? So, in this line right here is basically the ecliptic. That's why it says zero degrees. Do you see how Earth is below it? So, right now, in our orbit, we're actually below the ecliptic a little bit. So, when, when we're kind of going up and down in our orbit, certain planets line up. And every once in a while, we'll get that big line of planets that just line straight up. And they will all be on the same plane here also close to the ecliptic you get all those things happening all at once in that perfect storm scenario the sun reacts almost every time that happens okay because like i said magnetic field lines right here the dash lines these little uh, diamond boxes or squares depending on if you're looking vertical or horizontal there those are satellites those aren't planets so like I said, your naked butt out in space, the sun would be connected to one of your butt cheeks, I would think. Or maybe both. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But no, you would be connected to it. So, and that's what I'm trying to say here. So, in my opinion, when the comet comes in, it starts crossing those magnetic connection lines for each individual planet. It starts crossing um, magnetic connection lines with the sun. Anything else that's out there that's going on, not only can it instigate the sun, but the sun obviously is going to have an effect on the comet. This comet is not diving into the sun. This comet is in an orbit around the sun, much like Halley's Comet was, much like Hellbop is, Inky. All these bigger comets are in these big, long, long-term duration uh, orbits around our sun. Right? So what we're going to do is I'm going to take you guys over here to uh, Dr. Tony Phillips' page, spaceweather.com. Well, before we do that, I do want to show you one more here on Stereo A. Guys, please don't forget about this tool. Anybody out there that looks at this stuff, please go over here to the Stereo Science Center and start looking at this more often because it does give you a side cut. This is a side cut. We don't typically get a good view, like when we're looking at SOHO. We're looking dead on, right? From behind the earth, basically. That's kind of what you're looking at there. This here is backed off and from the side, right? Now, it's not right now. This used to be way out on the side, way out. This is Stereo A. It's hanging out around our planet right now. It, it's basically giving us the same viewpoint as SOHO. Okay, but it does give it to us at a different level there. So, and that's why I'm trying to show it to you. So, I do want to show you one more image here on Stereo A before we move on from that. Let's go ahead and go here to the SR. Okay, this is the black and white, and this is why I'm showing it to you. Now you guys see the energy coming off the sun, right? Now remember, we get a lot more ghosting on this difference image. 
Okay, you see how everything's kind of smoothed out? And you can very clearly, and I'm going to show you this right here, because we do see an outburst. When it gets there, I'm going to stop it, and I'm going to show it to you. Okay, here's the CME. Look at the CME coming. Okay. Now, nah, it's just overloaded charged particles there, guys. That's all that that was. Don't worry about those lines. I'm not going to go into explanation of what that is. Um, and that causes arguments, too. But it's very easily explainable. It just takes time to explain it. And I'm not going to take the time tonight to do that. But I will in the future, if you guys want me to. Um, see how the tail got shorter? You see in that? Okay, and then you get your little cricks in the, the tail again here starting to stretch out longer again all that stuff there it goes again what's the time date time stamp here okay this is on the sixth see how we're kind of getting down closer how how things are starting to affect this thing a, a lot more and that's exactly what we would expect so let me back this off a little bit because i do want to show you what i think is is an outburst um, so let's watch it right. You'll see like a distortion out in front of it a little bit. And I'm going to pause it and take you back to it. There it is right there. Stop it. Okay, so we're going to zoom in. Okay. I wonder if I can. Nope. That really blows. <laughs> Literally blows. Yeah. Anyway. Um, I guess I can show it to you this way. It's going to back it back off, guys. Sorry. I'm not going to be able to get you a really good detailed view of that. Um, okay. Now, I do want to see. Yeah, because the outburst already. I think it happens again, though, too. And when I say outburst, it doesn't mean it's exploding. It just means there's some cracks on the... On the uh, on the um, comment, there it is. Okay, let me back that up just a little bit. Um, it just means cracks open up, some of the gases get released, and it basically, yeah, it, it's a, a little small explosion, pretty much. Um, so we, that's what I'm talking about. Don't worry about that stuff. That stuff can get chalked up as highly charged particles. It can get chalked up as, hey, that's a ghost image of the white one that happened before that, okay? Also, it could be highly charged particles hitting the camera. There's a lot of things that these things can be. Um, so, yeah. So, let me uh, see. There's the white one right before it. <laughs> so, it's kind of hard to say that that's not a uh, ghosting image when I can say, hey, there's that. Look at that. That's crazy. You go to the next image, it's a mirror image. Right? It's a ghosting image. It, it it just, I can't see how, when you show, show somebody that, how they can say that that's not what that is. I, and, and again, it's okay if you don't believe that. That's fine. I'm not going, I'm not mad at anybody. <clears throat> Let's see here. Step that forward. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to show you this little cutout right here that I noticed. And it, it's not going to be that impressive. But I want you guys to see it. You see that? And then you start seeing the tail react again. I think it had a small little outburst right there. Not 100% sure, but yeah. Um, but yeah. Hey, uh, Daniel, I, I found something that you might be interested in seeing. I'm not sure if I can email you. If you got an email, man, let me know. Just tell me what it is, or if you don't want to put it in the chat, it's all good. If you could just email me and tell me who you are in the email. I, I do have something I want to show you. I just don't want to. 
put it out there all over the place right this second because I yeah I avoid that crap so you probably already know what I'm talking about but um, anyway, if you could just email me, Daniel, I, I just want to send you a couple things. Have you take a look at them and see what you think. Anyway, so, okay. Hey, Renee. Yeah, you know what? That's another thing, guys. I want to bring that up right now. She says she didn't get notification. Hilly's been having problems. Guys, it's platform-wide. It's everywhere. It's rampant right now. And that is no joke. All right, cool, Daniel. Thank you. So yeah, now um, you got this uh, this difference image here too, and I think it really does show CMEs really well. I'm going to be showing you guys this imaging more often. Okay, the only like I said, guys, the only downfall to using this one, this is from the old Sechi suite. Okay, Sechi is just a website. It's a suite of cameras. I'm not going to go into exactly what that is. But it most definitely was very useful. Um, and when it went down for like a year, people forgot it was still there. And when they got everything up and running again, we don't have all the tools that we used to have, but we got some of them. And this is one of them. Um, some of that technology is actually getting outdated. So they had to, you know, you got to keep changing things. But with that being said, I will be showing you guys this more often. But you see that right there, guys? I do think that, that was some sort of a distortion outburst, a little one. Wasn't huge. But when we ha when these things have the outburst, they a absolutely get brighter. Um, sometimes it's very significant. Other times, not so much. Okay? So what I, what I am going to do here is we're going to go take a look at uh, Dr. Tony Phillips. And I'm not going to stay on those pictures. Okay? Please. Please go show Dr. Tony Phillips some love over here. Okay. Um, who took this one? Let's see here. Okay. That's Carbondale, Illinois by astronomer Jimmy Westlake. That's who took this picture, guys. I mean, this is some amazing stuff. These guys work hard, so please give them some love. Please, I wish I could do more for them. And only thing I can do is just push everybody over there. I just think it's really well put together. And, and I, you know, you guys hear me talk this up a lot. Um, but let me take you back. This is one of the cool things about his website. You can go back days, right? Now, obviously, that's we're probably talking about a Falcon X, SpaceX. Yep, right there. Twenty-two Starlinks, yeah. Uh, yeah, so let's go back another day. April Fool's Day, baby. This is something else that we have right now we didn't used to have. <laughs> this is from the Mars rover. This is a backside view of the sun, because Mars is actually on the backside. So we actually get a, a very, what we get to see is this kind of definition. I would imagine they have some better definition that they get to look at. But this is coming from the Mars rover. So we actually have a visual of the backside of the sun right now. Which is cool. Um, let's scroll down here. Okay. Yeah, he does post updates all every day, guys. So go give him some love. Let's go back to the... Let's try the third here. I'm trying to find... Okay, I think this is it. Maps. I'm trying to find that one, that one hyperlink. Maybe it's here. I don't know. Nope. Are you kidding me, Mark? Why'd you do that? Daggone it. <laughs> I actually hit the X on that. Sorry, guys. All right. Let's go here, then. Let's, uh... 
Maybe it was back in March. I bet it was. Go back to the 31st. Hit view. Okay. I'm trying to find that one website. Um, all right, give me one second, guys. It might be I might I might have a shortcut for it. Hold on. Uh, maps. See, sorry about the dead air, guys. Oh man. Okay, we might just have to skip that tonight. But it was that one that one uh thing that I showed you guys. Um where it's kinda like Stellarium, but it's not. It's it was geared. Hey, hey Renee, thank you. Thank you, sister. Gosh, you guys are just freaking awesome. That's all I can say. I mean, yeah. Oh, if you weren't here, Renee, I'm either gonna do a live stream. I'm probably going to go ahead and just do it tomorrow because I was going to try to do it after Mark goes tonight, but I think it's going to be kind of late. So that's what I'll just say to that. <laughs> um, and I know everybody, I want as many members that can be there to be there. Um, but please, please, uh, it'd be nice to see everybody there. Anybody that's been gifted memberships, you know, it, just tell them thanks, you know. Um, I would say this too. Anybody that's been gifted memberships, when the membership is about up, YouTube will probably prompt you and see if you want to renew. Now, again, I'm not saying telling everybody to renew. That's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is that that's, a poss that's going to happen. Um, so just understand that. That's all I'm saying. So, yeah. Point your optics here. What we got here? Okay, here it is. Man. <laughs> okay, yeah, there we go. Uh, let's go here with... Uh, it's called The Sky Live, okay? Um, here we go. This is what I wanted. See? I knew I had it somewhere. So... You guys, you can just scroll. Have, go over and have some fun with this thing, man. This thing is cool. So right now, I showed you guys this back when he posted this, right? So here's Earth. And we'll just come right up, right up the butt of Earth here. <laughs> so, yeah. So there's Earth. Here's the comet. Now, I want you guys to pay attention here. Hey, Drops, thank you. Wow. Man, you guys are just so awesome. Wow. Hey, just so everybody knows, I got some, uh, I got these uh, playing cards that are actually like CMEs and things on them. So I'm, I'm probably going to be uh, giving those away at some point. So you guys got that to look forward to. Um, I just want to try to get back as much as I can. Uh, but yeah, I got some Stargazer stuff. I got some, anybody who's into Star Wars, man, I got this deck of cards called the Mandalorian. These cards are awesome. Matter of fact, I bought like six decks of them because I'm not opening like four of them. I'm going to keep them. But anyway, so you got the Earth right here. Here's the Devil Comet, right? Now, you got other comets too, right? You could click these on and off. We're just going to leave that one on. So we'll take that off. Take that one off. And that one. Thank you, TNAZ. Appreciate you. Awesome. Thank you. Wow, man. Before I know it, the whole the whole uh, chat's going to be green. That's awesome. You guys are... I, I, I'm just so humble when you guys do stuff like that. Hey. You know, no matter how much I do, extra or whatever, I'm probably never going to be satisfied with myself, you know, giving you guys what I think you guys deserve, because it's way more than I can give you, I guarantee you that. 
it I'm gonna try my best though to earn it. But anyway, so you got Earth here. Here's the set, here's the comet. But check out the direction of its tail, right? So if I if I take the inner solar system and I spin it around, guess what? It's 180 degrees directly the opposite direction of the sun. Why? Because the solar wind is blowing this way and it's interacting with the comet itself creating that coma back there. Okay? That's true with every comet. That's why they have a tail. Okay? So that's just what I'll say. You guys are just wow. Um, and anybody else who wants to join, just so I, I forgot to even mention this, um, there is a link at the top of, in the description box. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to ask some of my mods from time to time. Drop that link, just copy and paste it out of the description box there. Uh, maybe, for me, I mod over on over on uh, Mark Lugel. I actually have a notepad thing that's on my desktop. And I can scroll over everything that I think I might need to post in the live chat. Um, you might do something like that so you can post it real quick. Uh, but I'd like to get that posted once in a while in there. Cause, and it's not because of anything other than there's a lot of people that don't know how to do that. Um, and it does make it a lot easier for people just to click a link. And then to try to hit the dollar sign and then go through all the toggles and all that stuff that we have to do. You know? Does the sun alter comet's trajectory? I guess my next question there, Gunslinger, would probably be in what sense. The the sun is determining that comet's trajectory. Well, thanks again, Drops. Wow. Whoa. Man. You guys are just... Thank you. Yeah, for real. Thank you. A lot of you guys, yeah. <laughs> My wife, we had a conversation uh, about two or three days ago, and she, uh, she's just as thankful, guys. Okay, so just know that. And thanks. Thank you, Karen. I appreciate it. Thanks for the super chat. Really do appreciate it. I wish I could just snap my fingers and make everybody a member. I really do. Um, yeah. Um, I am also looking at getting some stuff, merch stuff. And this is stuff that I'm going to be talking to. <laughs> TNA, TNA Z, oh my god. <laughs> wow. You guys are... Wow, wow, wow. Thank you. My goodness. <laughs> Thank you, TNAZ. I, I, I just... Yeah. I promise I'm going to do my best I can to make it worth it, guys. That's... It's going to happen. I mean, and I'm going to... Yeah. So, but I again, guys, I'm going to bring all that stuff to the, the memberships. And I'm going to help you uh, have, ask your guys' opinion on it. As well as anybody that's not a member, I'm going to put a poll out there too. But I'll probably be getting, I'll take ideas from anybody. Okay? And, you know, everybody's going to have an input. But, um, like, when we decide on some merch or whatever, I'll probably show it to the members first. And then roll it out the next day to everybody else. I mean, I think that's a fair thing. So, that's stuff like that. <laughs> Vicky, my internet mom, I talk, my wife is my best friend. I talk to that woman all day, every day. <laughs> Promise you that. Thanks, Daniel. You're, you're, I mean, yeah. You know, Daniel, I have to say this, buddy. You're one of the more logical people I've ever talked to. And I'm, I'm I'm being dead honest when I say that. You're also an adult, and that doesn't usually go hand in hand. Just to be honest, um, you don't like just because somebody believes a certain direction or might not even agree with you. You know those kinds of things. You don't get mad, ticked off. 
There's no reason for that. I mean, isn't part of life having those conversations? So I, I just want to let you know, Daniel, I appreciate that from you. I really do. Always have. Always have. But anyway, so enough of that sapness. I'm getting all <laughs> off track. But that's why the the tail goes back here, guys. It really is. That's why it, it's back that direction. Um, oh, thank you, Ilya. Uh, <laughs> I know. I know, Vicky. Uh, anyway. Notice how I was talking about above and below the ecliptic. See Mercury's orbit? This is a good way for me to show you this. You see how it's kind of tilted? So that means that some t at, at certain times of the year, it's above the ecliptic and below other times. And it's orbit around the sun. Thank you, Laura. Stephanie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anybody that's known me for any length of time, even here on my channel, you guys know I'm pretty emotional. Um, there's a uh, video, actually. Um, if you guys go back and watch it, if you guys want to know a little bit more personal, a more personal thing, um, anybody that's not a content creator may not know what a what if video is. A what if video is a video that a content creator will make, and basically talking to to their loved ones. And what you do is you post that, and you have to go in. And change the date about every three days. That way, if something was to happen to me, you know, and I'm no longer here, I uh, passed away or whatever, in three days, that video I made will post live onto YouTube. And it's a very good way to say goodbye to everybody without you even being there, um, and let people know how you know how how you feel. But, you know, I got to thinking about that, and I do have a what-if video. It's there, um, but it's more poignant to certain people. But I thought, why why, why wait? And really, that's what was going through my mind, because there were so many things in my mind that I couldn't say, right? Um, I get embarrassed. <laughs> I still get embarrassed saying certain things to my wife. I shouldn't. I do, though, because I love her. And that's why. Um, so I said, well, you know what? I'm going to flip the script on this one. And I made a what if, my what if right now video. It's there. If you guys want to go back and check it out, go check it out. Um, you'll get to see pictures of me and my wedding and my wife and my kids and all that stuff. So anyway. <laughs> you're right. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. You're 100% right. Yeah, Daniel, I mean, I, I, I just, I really do think that it's a good thing for every content creator to do. Because you just simply don't know. Now, I know I'm off subject here, guys, but give me some leeway here at the end of this live stream. Um, matter of fact, while I'm talking about this, let's do this. Let's give you something to look at. How about that? Instead of just listening to me, yap. Anyway, um, <laughs> oh man, now I forgot where I was at. <clears throat> yes, shells, one hundred percent. And I promise you, shells, I'll show that video tomorrow. Okay. Better yet, you got a YouTube page, right? And that's where you posted it. I was going to do this anyway. I was going to try to send everybody over there to go check it out. Everybody, if you could, please go over to Shell's, uh, Shell Spell's channel. And she says she, she's got some footage of yes, uh, the Eclipse stuff. Um, she sent me an email also. But I think it's on, her, on the YouTube page too. Go show some support over there, guys. Go check it out. Yeah. Yeah, Menacing. Um, <laughs> I, got, I got your... Uh, your gender wrong for a very long time. You know that, right? I mean, yeah, we've had that conversation before. <laughs> Embarrassingly enough. Um, yeah. So, 
Hey, Miss Dragon. Yep. Yep. You're right. You're right. Um, you know, guys, I've been getting, since I monetized, I've been getting a lot of emails about people that want to sponsor my videos. You know, companies and things like that. I'm not, I'm not doing that right now. Um, I'm not saying that I never will. What I'm saying is I'm not, in, I'm not in a position right now that I want to do that yet. Um, you know, I just, I want to get in a groove here. I was out of the groove for about a year. I'm back in it now. I'm getting into it and it's, I want to stay here. And, uh, I'm trying not to throw too many wrenches in it. Well, yeah, I guess throw a bunch of blue wrenches in it, but <laughs> uh, anyway, um, the what if video, guys, um, what was that channel called? Oh, the King of Random. You guys ever, uh, TKR was the abbreviation for it, and um, what was his name? Was his name Garrett? I can't remember what his name was, but his channel was big guys and he did some really cool content he would take science stuff and say what if we did this with this and they had this big dome concrete dome they would blow stuff up in I mean, it's just really cool science stuff right he was doing the old diet coke and mentos thing could he do this that and the other and and uh he was married had kids he, his wife had just given birth i believe and had like a really small kid and he ended up passing away in a paragliding accident. Um, just out of the blue, guys. You know? And, um... <laughs> yeah, Aaliyah, hey. You can ask my wife, Aaliyah. That pink hat? I wear that thing constantly still. I love that thing. <laughs> I was on Ilya's channel, guys, and she used to do a, a game show style type of thing for prepping. And uh, if if you were to get, I'm not sure if we had to get all 10 of them. I think that's what it was. I can't remember exactly. But anyway, I won. And uh, she sent me this, uh, she gave me a choice. I said, give me the pink ballgame with the light on the, on the front of it. And what's cool about it is you can pop this light out and you can plug it in and charge it. Instead of having to keep adding batteries stuff like that really cool thing not to mention it's comfortable and it keeps you warm i'm not kidding it's a really cool hat <laughs> i still my wife my um my wife was uh surprised i was wearing pink but believe it or not guys pink is i i like pink i like pink and my favorite color is purple and uh i got a uh bracelet on that my daughter made me it's uh mainly purple and it's you know, teal and those kinds of colors. But I am getting kind of off here. <laughs> Way off the track here. So if you guys want to see all that stuff, there's a video called What If Right Now on my channel. It's on it's under I think it was a lot it will it was a live stream. And I I guess I could post the link tomorrow. But I would highly encourage you guys to check that out because I do say some things in there that I strongly believe. Um, we got to tell our loved ones now, don't wait, you know, and unfortunately, you know, like Garrett, you know, he didn't have that last chance and I don't want that to happen to me. So even if you don't do the what if right now video, do the what if video, have it there for your loved ones. Your loved ones will love that. I promise you. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I think I think mean, you talked about the purple thing before. It is, it's actually my, my favorite color. But um so yeah guys, I don't want to take up much more of your time here. We're already well past an hour, I think. Yeah, an hour and seventeen minutes. Um and that ain't a big deal for me, is is what it is. I'm not saying anything there, but um Ilea is is Mark on. Nope. I haven't got any notifications anyway. You're right, Vicky. Don't. Um, everybody, please go over to Shell Shell Spells channel and go watch that video. Um, 
I watched a piece of it already. I didn't have time to watch the whole thing yet. But please go over there and do that and um, let me know tomorrow. And I'll probably show it tomorrow anyway. But please go give her some love over there. Go check it out. You're right, Shell. Yep. Thank you, The Wise. Thanks, Dry. Hey, guys. Thank you guys so much for all the new memberships. Um, it's making a huge difference in my life. I just want you guys to understand that. And it's coming at a time that, well... I'm just going to stop there. You guys don't need to hear any of that. That's not why I'm doing this. I just want you guys to understand that it's appreciated. Very much appreciated. And uh, so, but anyway, guys, Sun Diving Comet right there. Devil Comet got its tail ripped off or at least bent a little bit. <laughs> um, and we're we're going to be able to see this thing for a while now. It's going to stay in the sky for a few days. And again, if we go back over here, if you look at its orbit, remember what I said about it being more vertical? So we're looking from right behind Earth. Look at this. I mean, you really got a very highly tilted orbit here. Okay? So the, the question about does the sun influence the comet, it most certainly does. Thanks, Drops. Man, you guys are just... Yeah. Thanks, man. That's awesome. Thank you. But this is a very highly elliptical thing, right? The orbit of it. And it's it's interesting. So, in other words, you know, if that was to change, say, well, say they shot a satellite or something at it and hit it, right? They already did that to an asteroid. They nudged it out of the way. Um, and I think they actually had some unexpected things that happened with that too. I think they that I think they hit it in such a manner it actually started to spin a little more too. Um, but I think the goal was to see how far they could deflect it, just as a test in case something comes at us. Um, I'm sure they're doing so many more things. I mean, and again, that is what it is. But uh, with this satellite. Uh, you got the satellite planets too, exoplanets and moons. There's so many things out there, guys, that that most people don't even know they're there. You know, exoplanets. Just just Google that, guys. Or duck, duck, go, whatever you do. Um, just go do it. Google exoplanet. You'll be surprised how many are right here on in our backyard. It, it's crazy, but. Um, anyway, guys, I ain't going to get off here. I will be back with you guys tomorrow. Uh, members, <laughs> which are a bunch of you, listen to me. I'm going to most likely go live. And then I'll probably move straight from the members live stream into a regular live stream. Um, there is a way, and Mark does it, when he goes from his uh, nightly show into the Shoutro. I'm going to try to set it up to where the 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 one the members that are watching don't have to go over to the new video. It's just going to port you in. Um, I haven't I've never done that, so I got to kind of look it up. I wouldn't imagine it's all that difficult, uh, but I'm going to look at doing that just to try to help help people there too. And I think it's a good thing too because that can be utilized in a way that, say, we're trying to help another channel say my my live stream's ending right and you and, and i and i'll tell people hey i'm going over let's just use the lifeboat tommy and the lifeboat hey i'm gonna go over here to the lifeboat guys right after the stream follow me over there well if i had that link there you guys won't have to follow me over if you just want to stay in the chat it'll port you over now i, I don't know if it i would probably have to get a permission from tommy to do that as far as like buttons in the background that he has to push to be able to accept that but we'll see yes thank you thank you renee for saying that guys it does make a difference when you come back um and leave a comment okay 
Um, what'd you say there, Ans333? What channel is this mark from? Me? My name's Mark. I don't know if I'm missing something there. Maybe one of the mods read the chat there. I I'm kind of lost on that. I don't know. Hey, Butterfly. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Daryl. Awesome. Gunslinger. Always cool. Love it. The wise will thrive. Oh, yeah. And anybody who gifted memberships, anybody who got memberships, thank you for the super chat, guys. Um, it, Yeah. So I just want to make sure you guys are aware that that's happening. Um, and I will be, guys. I'm probably going to be doing a giveaway as far as, like, so I do got some really cool playing cards that I haven't opened. So I, And they are space-related. So I got to be kind of cool. And get over and yes, Gunslinger, go over to Marfugal. Oh, is that what? Okay. Okay, I got you, Gunslinger. Yeah, go over to Mark. I'm sorry. It probably does sound like I'm saying Mark. <laughs> it's Mar It's Adam Marfugal is his name. Him and Dex run the channel called Marfugal TV and Marfugal News. Um, I moderate over there with Ilea, Rip, Trinity, uh, Jammer. Um, Gunslinger is always, well, majority of you guys are there. So, I mean, hey, Uncle Ralph. Hi, Ralph. Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Laura and Laura Raider. Good to see you. Good to see you. I seen you here earlier. I'm going to try to keep rocking it. Vicky, good night, my internet mama. All right, I'm getting out here for real this time, guys. <laughs> so, God bless. Yahusha saves. And welcome to the Kool-Aid crew, all you new members. And you can drink this Kool-Aid.